What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. This past weekend was Comic-Con here in Ottawa, and it was the first time that both me and Ashley have gotten the chance to go, because usually we're working. Now, normally, you guys seen in the past, we've been to Geeked Out twice, and that's a semi-annual event, happens twice a year, and it's actually coming up very soon, and we love going to that. But going to Comic-Con, we were very leery, because we knew it was gonna be a much larger scale than what we're used to, but a lot of it wasn't really of interest to us, or at least a good portion of it. But we still went and picked up a lot of goodies for our personal collection. And we're going to be showing that today. And then we have some other things to show you guys as well. So let's go and take a look. First up, we have two comics that I picked up actually at the first booth. This is issue number one and issue number three of the Infinity Gauntlets. Issue number one, they had $50 on it. Number three had $10 on it. I offered $50 for both. So pretty much I paid $40 for issue one and $10 for issue three, which is about what they're worth. But finally, I have completed one of these sets. These are the only two I was missing to complete the six part sets. And the first issue here, the comic alone, the cover just looks amazing, which is what drew me to it. But I love the story and I knew I wanted to complete the sets. And this is one of the keys I've been looking for for a while. And to find it not only at Comic-Con, but at the first booth was amazing. We also picked up some Funkos, so the first one here is one Ashley picked up, Lilo and Stitch. This is Skeleton Stitch. So this one here is an exclusive one, him in his skeleton costume, pretty cool. Ashley loves everything Halloween, so that is cool. That's It's Halloween and Stitch together. The next one here is another exclusive one, which is Stitch with the plunger on his head, which is pretty cool. Both of these ones were $25 each, which is a fair price for them. Next up, we do have this Winnie the Pooh. This is the Flocked Hot Topic exclusive, which I think is the Valentine's Day edition because it's the pink one. And as you can see, it was $25 as well. And then for my personal collection, I got Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is him with the championship belt. You can barely see it there. But this one I've been missing, and this one was $25 as well. Normally I've been seeing these for around $30, so I did get $25 for it, which was awesome. And then we also picked up these four big mystery boxes. So these are $80 each at Comic-Con, which is a hefty price. So for all four was $320. Ashley picked out two. She picked out a Stitch one, Scooby-Doo. I picked out Jurassic Park, which is the 30th anniversary. And together we picked out the Breaking Bad. And then they did have a uh, promo at the time, which was if you buy four, you get a free box, so we selected the superhero box as well, and I'm going to be opening up this in a minute. But these four boxes here, they are fairly large, and some of them, this one here has some weight to it. But these ones I'm going to do four separate videos for, opening up and seeing what is inside each one. So get ready for that in the future. But now I'm going to open up this one for this video, because this was kind of the bonus one we weren't really looking for but uh, they did offer it for free, so let's see what we have inside. So we do have a Green Lantern fidget spinner. We do have a Fantastic Four sticker. Looks like cards, or nope, fridge magnets of Batman vs Superman. We do have a poster or two mini posters inside for Gotham. Do have what looks like maybe a Harley Quinn bow. The only looks like the only thing that's going to be Marvel, the externals uh, like lanyard with it looks like a sticker, yet yeah, exclusive sticker inside. Do have these uh, limited one of 500 Batman vs. Superman figures, so it's him with the armor, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if that's something I'm going to keep or even display, but that is pretty cool figures. And then we do have, it looks like, a Wonder Woman notebook. Yep. So that's pretty cool. It was a lot more uh, DC than I like. As you guys know, I'm more into Marvel, but that was still pretty cool to have that included. And we still bought the four that were interesting to us, but for $80 each, hopefully the value is inside because as you guys know from mystery boxes, especially ones we've opened, 
sometimes the value isn't there but i'll open up these each separately in videos in the future but this is what we got at comic-con in ottawa and i must say compared to the geeked out events that we usually go to a little bit less than we usually get, but we spent about the same amounts whenever you consider the mystery boxes over there were $80 each. That's $320, and usually at Geeked Out we spend on average $400 for our collection, but it doesn't look like we got away with too much for what we paid for a lot of it, whenever you consider the price tag of the mystery boxes. That's what put us way over, but have some cool comics added to the collection, add some Funkos to our collection, and finally I got a WWE one, which I've been looking to see certain ones. I did see other ones as well, but this is what we picked up for our collection. Now in my opinion, comparing Ottawa Comic Con versus the Geeked Out events that we're used to, I think we're gonna stay going to Geeked Out because the price difference for getting in, for Geeked Out, it's free parking and $5 each to enter. Comic Con, the day we went, it was $10 parking and $40 to enter. There's other days that were more expensive each to enter, but $40 each to enter, that's $80 plus $10 parking. That's $90 to get in compared to $10 for Geeked Out. So a huge difference there for just entering in. And then looking at different booths, one of the booths, there was issue 400 of Amazing Spider-Man. They had $15 on it. I was debating on it, but I put it down and going to another booth, it was double the price. It was $30. I also seen there is a Simpson Funko Pop at a different booth that was $110 and went to the next booth. It was $170. I did find another Funko that I was debating on buying and that was the Paul Heyman ECW Funko. It was price tagged at $40. Whenever I looked it up at eBay sold comps, it's around $20. So a lot of the prices are all over the board and some of them people are have the price tag way higher than what it's valued at So that alone deters me from going back to comic-con in the future and at geeked out Most of the vendors price around the same for the different Funkos So if it's valued around 25 you might have somebody that has it between 20 to 30 dollars depending on different vendors But usually it's around that price range nothing double the price of what something's valued at so it's probably gonna deter us from from going back to Comic-Con, especially the heavy price to get in. And geeked out, every single booth is something that's interesting to us. And we love going to every booth. Whereas Comic-Con, we're not really into anime. There was a lot of anime booths, a lot of Star Wars booths, a lot of crafts, and a lot of that we're just not into. So about half of Comic-Con is enjoyable for us. The other half, we just didn't really care about. So I think in the future, we're just gonna stick with Geeked Out. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, looking at the pickups we got from Comic-Con. And the mystery boxes will be done in separate videos in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.